and it is when I started showing it to magicians and when magicians got hold of this book, um, they were saying it was the strongest part of the book, which took me by surprise. And the more I played with it and the more I showed people it, um, I started realizing after I put it out how good it was. And I didn't really justify that in the book, in, in the book itself. So I always wanted to do something else with it. So when I had the idea to take those first two lecture notes, one and two, and turn them into a DVD, I put that in there. And it became one of the strongest, the uh, most visual parts of that project. None of my work and none of my, my uh, subtleties and none of my, the techniques that I've kept to myself are in either of those formats. Uh, I taught it very quickly. Um, in the first book, I even remember, I think it's like maybe five or six lines long, just one paragraph explaining how it works. And back then, with it being my second book, I thought that's all people needed. In this project, I brought the trick back and I'm going to dedicate a lot of time in explaining every, in, you know, every last detail of what I know about this trick, how I use it, all the subtleties, all the psychological tips that I could possibly think of and get down on paper. I am Daniel Madison and this is Angle Z or Angle Z. Depends where you live, depends how you say it. It's the 26th letter of the alphabet. That is slick as hell. You're slicker than grease, dude. See, it doesn't just disappear, look, it goes somewhere. What the f What are you guys doing over here? Check it, check it. Amazing. Gosh, how did you do that? I just saw the raddest car trick that I've ever seen. with this Jack your tricks like this man kind of remind me of the guy that made the Statue of Liberty disappear